Hello and welcome everyone to the Del Mar Show. Thank you guys for joining me for another fantastic episode. It's no secret that one of my biggest inspirations for making videos online is Dirk Walker, aka the Nostalgia Critic. Ever since I discovered his content way back in 2008, I've just been a massive fan and how much of an inspiration he's been for making videos. In fact, without discovering the Nostalgia Critic, the Delmar Show would have never existed and me thinking about making videos online as a hobby would have never happened without discovering his content. And I always love his shows like The Nostalgia Critic, How To Be A Pirate, Bum Reviews, Video Game Confessions. All of his stuff is great and brought many laughter to joy for many years for me. Although I will admit, over the years I've been slowly dwindling out of the Nostalgia Critic fandom. It's like I haven't really been watching his content, it's no longer been that entertaining for me. Not saying that I have anything bad to say about Doug Walker, I still have huge respects for him. But like his videos just no longer make me laugh. Well, I just kind of been burned out from his content from watching from it so long. And there's some plan on giving away or selling my Nostalgia Critic collection online so that I could give it to someone who would appreciate it more instead of it collecting dust on my shelf for who knows how long. If I have not opened or used any of my DVDs for like, gosh, like maybe two years now, something. It's been years since I, uh, opened them and played the disc on my PlayStation 4. But before I do give away my Nostalgia Critic Collection, there's one thing I do want to talk about that I have that I don't think a whole lot of people talk about, and I want to go into a little bit of history first before I get into this particular DVD. Back in 2013, Channel Awesome opened an Indiegogo campaign so that way they can gain money to buy new equipment and gear to help make new shows such as Pop Chris Hotshot. There's a bunch of different tier options to donate and I chose the $100 tier, which not only gives you the previous perks such as links to the progression of the behind the scenes of creating sets and so on, as well as an autographed picture of Doug, Rob, Rachel, and Malcolm, but you also get a t-shirt of the evolution of the critic, as well as an exclusive DVD that has brand new content that has not been seen on Channel Awesome, only exclusive to this DVD. It's not like with like the past that guy with the glasses DVDs where they eventually uploaded that content either on the website or people linking them on YouTube. All of it on this DVD here is brand new made exclusively for anyone who donated to the indie in the Indiana, Indiana Jones Indiegogo campaign. And when I mean exclusive, I mean very exclusive. I tried searching online for the stuff that's in the DVD and I have not seen anyone uploaded on to YouTube. I'm not even sure how many of these DVDs were actually given out to. Uh, I know they mentioned they were making only 750, but how many people actually got it? I'm not really sure. And I just figured to make a fun video discussing the content within this DVD before I give it to a lucky fan who appreciate it more than I do. And I first want to start off with the cover. This is literally titled The That Guy With The Glasses Secret DVD. Really secret, because like it's in a black casing, it's pretty much uh, a reverse cover of the That Guy With The Glasses Volume 1 DVD. In fact, it kind of looks more like a video nasty that has some weird, bizarre video that is only for one guy's fetish or something. I have no idea what I'm going at. And on the back it says only for the most awesome people in the world. And in my opinion that means everyone. Everyone is awesome. You're awesome. My bro is awesome. My friends are awesome. That one guy that you know doesn't care much for you but you still have a little respect for him because he's a good worker he's awesome and such one quick thing before i get into the content i do apologize for the video quality most notably with the video game confessions i recorded all of this on my playstation fleet and unfortunately this was the quality that i got this weird staticky yuck on some of the video game confessions and this was apparent in both the PlayStation 3 and my PlayStation 4. This is the best quality that I could get so I do apologize if it may not be the best but regardless just talk about the content. First off is an exclusive Ask That Guy episode and I will admit I don't really care much for the Ask That Guy with the glasses. If you like dark humor that's great it's just not my cup of tea. This episode is unique for taking place in between the volume 4 DVD episode and the series finale, where you see Aztec Guy trying to escape from the depths of heck. And if you love the Aztec Guy series, you'll have fun with this, but for me I didn't care much for it. There are two exclusive Bung Reviews episodes, one on the World's End movie, and then one of my personal favorites on this DVD is Bung Reviews House, 
We're sort of a parody of Cribs. Does anyone remember Cribs? No? Okay, never mind. And he shows off his cardboard house that he made, and it's really funny and really hilarious, especially the ending. There are two Nostalgia Critic episodes where he reviews public domain movies, the two movies being Cat Women of the Moon and The Giant Claw. Two exclusive video game confessions, which, to be fair, I still really enjoy the video game confessions episodes. Those are still funny, and I do love his illustration. Doug Rocker has a really unique art style, and I do love the episodes where you see a bartender not only describing, but also drawing the events that occurred with a particular video game character. It's always fun to see his drawings as such. The two characters that Dominic talks about in these episodes are the Doug Cut Dog and Ryu from Street Fighter. And then there's a blooper world that contains bloopers from his reviews on the Can Hack live action movie and the Last Airbender reviews. And so yeah, those are the exclusive episodes that are only on this Indiegogo DVD here. Most of the stuff you see on this DVD are your typical stuff that you would expect from a Nostalgia Critic or Video Game Confessions episode. I find it fascinating that these episodes are only available to see on this DVD, so if you have never donated to the Indiegogo campaign way back in... Gosh, what's it been now? Six years now or something? Man, it's been agent! That is pretty... Uh, remarkable to see these lost episodes, I guess you could see, that only a few handful of people have ever got to have. And I know the DVD says only for the most awesome people, but again, everyone's awesome, so pretty much I've decided to be a pirate because copyright infringement is today's most common type of piracy. <laughs> I pretty much got all the stuff that's only available on this DVD and uploaded onto YouTube. If you've seen one of my Mullins Vlogs videos, you may remember that I have a secret YouTube account. All it is is just a channel where I uploaded the Trolleys VHSs. It's still there. I have not seen complaints about removing them or anything. It's still there. Heck, it's practically as old as this channel. It's ancient, practically. <laughs> However, I decided to use that channel to upload all the secret DVD episodes onto there. So for the majority of people who have never seen these lost Nostalgia Critic Video Game Confessions episodes, you can watch them on my Troll Radio 249 channel. I put the link to the channel in the subscription, not subscription, description box below. I am having a weird tongue twisting day, I have to say. Before I do close this review, even though it's not much of a review, it's more of a little video talk about DVD, but regardless, I do want to go ahead and just wrap up my thoughts about Doug Rock. I know there's been recent stuff with like the whole channel, change the channel stuff last year, and his review quality downward, like his quality of videos has somewhat dipped down. Like the reason why I did stop watching like his Nostalgia Critic was that even though I did like the sketches, that the acting can be very hammy and over the top. In fact, the sketches kind of overtake the review a bit. I know he sort of talked about it in like his Christmas with the Cranks, where he changed and such, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with change. It's just, I think the reviews just don't really interest me. But even though I may not watch uh, any future content from Doug Rocker, heck, I pretty much unsubscribe from the Channel Awesome page. That does not mean I have anything against Doug Rocker. I still think he's a fantastic individual, and I still love how, at the end of every Nostalgia Critic, he suggests a brand new charity group to donate and such, which I think is really heartfelt. I do believe that Doug, I know some people have some own personal opinions about Doug Rocker, but I still have huge respect for him and such a re remarkable man and how kind hearted he is and how wonderful his cast in it and how much, it's funny too of how much he's grown from making his reviews when he was living with his parents when he was down in luck to all of a sudden having like a big studio. It's really incredible to see from way back in 2007 seeing how much he has grown since then. And to Doug Rocker, if somehow you're watching this, first off, why? And secondly, while I may not watch your content much anymore, I do thank you for inspiring me to making videos online. You're seriously one of the biggest influences in my life, next to Jesus, and all that stuff. So I do thank you for the wonderful years of laughter. And if you do make any brand new shows or something that isn't just nostalgia critic based, I'll be sure to go into it because I actually liked the demo reel. I loved 
demo wheel. It was a shame it ended because it had a unique concept, but regardless, you just not worry about that. That's all the time we have for today, folks. So if you were one of the lucky individuals that was able to get this DVD by donating to the Channel Awesome Indiegogo campaign, let me know what you think of the content. And again, all the stuff that's in this DVD, I have made public uh, for viewing ship on my Troll Radio 239 channel, so you could check those out in the description box below. And again, I do apologize for the quality of the video game confessions episodes and all that. It's weird too, I, it seems weird that I had the issue, especially on my PS4 as well, because, well, it's a beefier machine. But with any case, thank you guys for watching this episode, God bless you, and I will see you all on the next episode of The Delmar Show. Bye-bye!